Hi, this is Gary Gopar and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you are feeling good because today our quote of the day is there is no failure, only feedback by Robert Allen. We can never know if we are doing things right or not without getting feedback from other people. You need real feedback to advance in the right direction of your dreams. You will make mistakes along the way, but as the quote says, there is no failure, there is only feedback. Making mistakes is not failure. It is feedback about your path, your choices, your mindset, and your actions towards your goals. You can never know th how things will work out in the end. In, as, in not never in advance since you have not been there before you must try things out take calculated risks and see where they lead you you must see if the steps that you are taking are really the right steps for you at the mo at this moment in time and for your current situation and the best way to ensure that you are headed in the right direction is to seek out feedback as bill gates said we all need people who will give us feedback that's how we improve. This is so simple, yet so true. You have your own set of feelings, your own sets of thoughts and beliefs, and if you are emotionally intelligent, then you may also be aware of other people's feelings as well. But you still need feedback in order to tap into other people's way of thinking and other people's beliefs. It is good to know that feedback can come from any person. It is important to consider the feedback that is given rather than the source of the feedback. Anybody can give you valuable insight. And you just need to be available and humble enough to understand the feedback and incorporate it into your life from any source that it comes if it is valuable and useful. Feedback may not always be comfortable. This is certainly true. But it is so important for you if you wish to make major impact or if you wish to improve yourself as a person. Feedback may even be painful, but just as any pain in the body points our attention to what needs to be healed, the same goes for feedback. It points our attention to what needs to be healed, changed, or improved in our life or in the way we are doing things. Feedback is always being given to us but we don't always notice or are aware that it is being given to us. The way people behave around us is a measure of feedback to us and our behavior. If we notice consistency in behavior around us regarding an aspect of our behavior that is negative in some way, then this is feedback that we need to change our communication methods regarding this subject or this situation. Feedback is always also always being given to us through our results. A lack of money, poor grades when studying, poor health, complaints, criticism, and suffering of all sorts is feedback through results. And feedback through results also shows us which of our actions are not reaping the rewards that we desire. So we should be open for change. Our current situation with regard to every field of life is feedback regarding our thoughts and our actions in that field of life. Now also all mistakes are opportunities for growth. If we made a mistake, then it in itself is feedback, which is there to help us grow and help us evolve as human beings. The bigger your goals are, the more likelihood that you will be criticized on the path towards achieving those goals. Do not see this as judgment towards you personally, but as something that you should correct or you should improve or you should think about. Not all the steps that you will take will be good steps, but so long as you are doing something in the right direction of your dreams and you are open to getting feedback, if these are indeed the best steps for you to be taking, then you will improve yourself favorably and you will reach your goals. You will also understand which steps or behaviors should be continued and which steps or behaviors are not the best for you and should be changed. Even minor changes will help you improve drastically. The most important thing is to never give in and never give up. Make the changes even if they are uncomfortable. Do not ignore the feedback that you are given. Listen and see what you can do to improve yourself 
And if the feedback is negative, don't be angry with the person giving you the feedback. In fact, they should be thanked. In our world today, filled with lockdowns, social distancing, and people suffering great losses to their health and wealth, many people are demonstrating against their governments. But can you imagine how the world would be like if the leaders of our nations would say thank you for this feedback that they are receiving through these demonstrations, and they would seek ways to improve their choices and decisions? How do you think people would view these leaders? Well, I can tell you for sure that these open to feedback leaders would be treated with much more respect. Yes, these are different times and the leaders of today are bound to make mistakes. But if they are open to accepting the feedback from their people, then they will be loved, accepted, and also probably re-elected, which is most often their wish. And this is how feedback can be win-win for everyone. The person giving the feedback thinks that things should be done differently and the person uh, doing uh, the action can improve to become better or produce better results in different ways that they never even thought about. Then in the end, everyone is happier with the results. So you should not take feedback personally. It is not about you and it should not threaten you. Feedback is about your choice of actions, your behaviors and your thoughts. It is never about your core as a human being, but only about your choices. So there is no need to or any advantage in taking the feedback personally. You must focus on your goals and your desire to reach them. Therefore, you must actually seek and welcome feedback and all types of feedback. There are actually three types of feedback, positive, appreciative feedback, coaching feedback, which is uh, explaining another different way to do things, and evaluative feedback, which uh, is regarding where you currently are with regard to where you desire to be. All of these types of feedbacks are equally important. Positive feedback shows you where you should continue doing things as you are currently doing them. And coaching and evaluative and negative feedback in general shows you where you can change. Now, don't just wait for the feedback to come along. There, then you are missing valuable time. When you are going after your dreams, you want time to work for you, not against you. Therefore, you want to explicitly ask for feedback from people whose opinions you respect. Ensure them that you are trying to improve yourself and that you won't be hurt by their opinions, but that you will learn to become better at whatever you are asking them feedback about. Now, once you get the feedback from this one person, this does not mean that you must make the change immediately or stay where you are if it is positive feedback. No, this is only one person's opinion. It means that it is time to seek other people's opinions and see patterns emerging regarding their feedback. And then by examining the patterns that, that come up through, this feed, through their feedback, you can ensure that you are making the right moves for you and that every, and for everyone around you. Remember that for you to reach your highest calling, you must be open to change, growth, and progress. You do not need to reach perfection, but you must continue to improve yourself and your actions. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that you can make sure you're improving your life day to day. So the question of the day is, in which field of life do I need some feedback to improve, but I'm afraid to ask for it? Now, after writing this question and answering it, go ahead and ask for this feedback about how you can improve and where they think you may be limiting yourself and what needs to be done in their eyes for you to get where you desire to be. So as usual, I recommend writing down this question and your answer and also their answers in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them and make sure that you are following the path to your success and happiness and fulfillment. So to finish off, the affirmation of the day is, I take action on the feedback I receive and I am improving my life daily. I take action on the feedback I receive and I am improving my life daily. So tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has the power to completely alter your life for the better if you repeat it consistently. 
So thank you very much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button for notifications every time I upload a new video. And please also visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a higher level for you. Thank you very much for joining.